getting the DRO to a RF30. Um, Harbor Freight sells these, so does uh, Grizzly, a few other companies. But uh, this was my solution to adding this. I had to make this little bracket here. And the scale is uh, 250 millimeters. Uh, this is, has about uh, 7 inches, 30 thousandths travel on the y-axis which is what this is on now uh, this side right here was uh it had a bit of filler in there so it actually filled it to you know pretty pretty deep right there so this was at an angle so i ended up grinding it off and it turned out uh almost plumb not quite but almost and then the way this is going to be covered, because these are glass scales, is um, I'm going to make another piece of, of probably steel and make it so it sits like that. And that piece will just go and ride in there like that. Make a standoff and probably make it a little bit further down and make end caps for it. Um, I just made this table so I didn't... I didn't to captive bolts yet for it so it's not actually bolted down still still a work in progress but i haven't leveled it yet it's got leveling feet um which are just have 13 bolts with captive nuts welded to the bottom of it um i also made a little riser for it so if i did one of the vertical uh power feeds i can get that in there but i just wanted to show that's that's how it's done well that's how i did it anyway because this is a universal kit and it doesn't come with uh, brackets that fit, so you kind of have to make your own. Of course, if you don't, if you don't have a welder, you can uh, you can machine all this because you obviously have a mill. Um, this hole right here was from my old uh, one of those cheap DROs that was already threaded, so to save myself the hassle, I just reused that. And then those are uh, ten twenty four. Uh, inch and a half 1024 right there and then that's a half inch 1024 um, that's about that's about it and I'm gonna probably clean this up a little bit better and get it closer to that so I'll take a probably a 250 thou off the end of that and uh, maybe cut it down a little bit there and then put the cover back on the mill will get a uh, will get painted at some point probably next winter but you can see there was a lot of a lot of chipping here and there, and uh, and then you come over there, and there's the DRO. There's no wire management done yet, so everything's just kind of hanging, but it works. Um, it does work in the wrong axis, so it should be Y coming towards me, and then I mean uh, negative coming towards me, and then positive going away from me. So. I'm pretty sure that's just in the menu. Um, now I got this off of eBay. This is, uh, I think it was $100 for this unit. It came with the mounting bracket, which, see if I get better light in there. It came with the mounting bracket, which I just drilled and tapped. Those are, I want to say quarter 20, two quarter 20s. And then the other holes right here are threaded. And if you have a spot that's round, you can use those as, to take up the, the space kind of like feet uh, but that uh, this uh, wrong foo mill gives you a nice flat spot there the only thing is if you do use the, uh, the the speed handle on the quill you don't have that much space so basically right there and then I put it high and keep it out of the way of uh, chips and stuff and also if I put it low you could see that the quill handle would pretty much be at the at the top of it and and it would be a, a hassle you can take a lot of people take these off I just leave one on so I could rapidly position tighten it up and then use my hand wheel but that's about it I have to make a obviously there's got to be some wire management done with everything and it, the kit the, does come with uh, um, little wire holders that you could screw to the machine and I haven't run my 220 for this machine yet so I have it wired up for 120 because I just built the shed 
but that's about it. That's just a video real quick on how to how to make a mount for this because I really didn't see too many people uh, making mounts for this machine for, for the DRO. And then the old uh, type of DRO that I had on it before was just just one of these, which is actually pretty good. I think this was twenty five dollars. And uh, what I like about it, if I can get it in there, is when you when you're right around the fractional, it gives you the fractions. So, if you are using it as a drill, the fractions are good. But, if you're using it as a mill, kind of useless. But that's it. I'll, uh, I'll do an overview on the table. Because um, none of the tables I, I really liked. Uh, I wanted something, well, one, to give myself the vertical height for the for the vertical power feeds that mount like this, uh, Bridgeport-style power feeds. Now, these come with a horizontal if you purchase it with a power feed, but I got this used and didn't have a power feed, and those are $400 more than the machine costs, so I'll be adapting a vertical at some point. So I needed that space, and I just used that to... Uh, Give myself these drawers, which are about 28 inches deep. So that's a small one, but you know. And then uh, I wanted to get as much space out of it as possible. And then the bottom drawer is huge, and I still have nothing in it. 